Good morning, Laguna Woods. It's wonderful to be with you again today. Do you have your coffee yet? I hope you do. Sit back, relax. This is inspiration for today. We've had a lot of fun over the last couple of weeks, and I hope you've uh, been joining us through that time. But every day, we look at a different Bible verse. We start with the Bible because that's God speaking to us. And uh, a lot of times we use Old Testament verses, so our Jewish friends, I hope you'll be a part of this. Uh, those of you who are still on your faith journey, maybe you haven't decided yet whether Christianity is true or not, but I hope you'll, you'll intellectually consider the claims that Jesus Christ made and that you'll take the time to see, is it true or not true? So you're welcome to be here. That's why I asked you if you had your coffee, because I think better once I've had my coffee, and, uh, and I know you all do too. So our verse for today, in fact, does come from the Old Testament. It's uh, from the book of Isaiah. And Isaiah was one of the, the, the prophets of, of old, and uh, God actually spoke to him personally. That's not something many of us get to enjoy, but Isaiah did. And one day, here's what God said to Isaiah, and it's a verse that most of us, I think, can relate to. And, and God said, even in your old age and gray hairs, I am he who will sustain you. My hair more and more is getting gray, and I need that sustaining. I, this is Joan, uh, Joan McConville. And Joan is one of the staff at Saddleback mm -hmm. Church Laguna Woods. So we have worked together how many years? Almost four years. No way. Four We're years. four years older than when we started? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, Joan. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, anyway, we've had such a good time. And Joan lives, yeah. how long have you lived in Laguna Woods? About 13 years. 13 years. That's mm -hmm. even a little bit longer mm -hmm. than me. But uh, anyway, so I asked Joan, I, I want, we're going to, over time, we're going to have all the staff on and you'll get to know them. But today I wanted them to get to know Joan and I asked, what is one or two of your favorite verses? And you gave me those, and then I chose this one of your top two. But why, why did you choose this one? Well, like most of the seniors, um, I am concerned about, am I going to have enough money for the oh. end of my life? Am I going to have uh, some kind of tragedy or health problem or anything that is going to keep me, you know, will I run out of money? I mean, I, I think that's a common concern for seniors. Yeah. But when I get into that little funk, I remember this verse because he's promised to take care of me when my hair turns gray, and he knows what's under the clairol. So <laughs> I'm I'm good. So only your hairdresser and God and God <laughs> know for sure. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Tell us a little bit about you and your family. Well, um, I, I have know you have children around. Three daughters and two grandsons, and um, that are local. I'm very fortunate yeah. that my daughter, who lived in Colorado, has just moved to California. So I have all three daughters in Southern California oh, now. So it's wonderful. That is so yeah, great. Yeah, it's really that fun. That is so great. Well, I know that this verse and this this on uh, this word, the key word in this verse, is sustain. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already talked a little bit about that, but I know that uh, fairly recently uh, you had knee surgery. Yes. You needed sustaining, did you I not? I did. What happened there? I did. Um, and that's the interesting part. Because of my faith, I went into the surgery feeling very comfortable. I knew God was going to take care of me, and I knew I was going to be fine. And then through the struggles afterwards, when there was a lot of pain and such going on, um, I just depended on him because I can get comfort from God just like I got comfort from that verse because I know it's going to be okay. I mean, it was really one of those things because you and I, we both had mutual friends that had knee replacement and mm -hmm. it was like nothing. And they're up while well, they're back skiing. Yes. <laughs> and so 
we like in a way thought, well, this will be easy. Sure. And then it was harder. And I know yeah. that, or do you think, did you find yourself praying more when times are harder? Of course. Like that. Of course. Why, why do and we do that? Um, I think out of desperation. I think we want to make sure that he knows what we're going through. And uh, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit groans for us. And I think he was groaning for me while I was whining and feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm fine today and I'm ready to go for the next one. So. But one of the things, and th this is interesting because the verse says, God says, I will sustain you. Yes. But don't you think, or has it been your experience that sometimes God uses people? To do that. Absolutely. Because I think that was. That was the case for, for me. For you. My daughter was there to caring for me when I was going through this. And um, she was telling me, Mom, you have to stay ahead of the pain. You have to take the medicine before you feel the, the pain and, and things like that. And, and I needed to hear that. But I've always felt like God speaks to me through other people. And when somebody tells me something like that, I kind of feel like it, it's him nudging them, telling me, you know, what needs to be done. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. But isn't that interesting that, that, that evidently, so that verse to Isaiah was written, let's see, that would have been about 3,000 years ago. Yes. So evidently, 3,000 years ago, older people got gray hair too. Yes, they did. <laughs> which proving once again that the Bible has a lot of truth in it, even just on, on the side right. like that. But and the interesting part yeah. is when, when you look up this verse in the message paraphrase, it says, um, I will carry you on my back. Uh -huh. So when I read that, you ask me, what does sustain mean to me? Yes. Well, to me, it means he's got my back. That's all there is to it. Or you on his back. Uh, yeah. Isn't that what it... What yeah, but that he's, oh. he's, he's watching out for me yes. all the time. He's yes. got my back, no matter what happens. And isn't that the, the truth? Mm -hmm. I mean, did you think that you'd still be... Maybe you did, but did you think you'd still be working this into your... Well, aren't you in your... Are you still in your 50s, I believe, <laughs> didn't we say? Way past that. Way past that. Okay. I have daughters in their 50s. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, so we're, you and I both are working probably longer yeah. than we thought we would, but I don't view it as work at all because I love our church. The funny part is I never thought about retirement. Okay. I, it just, um, I've always worked, and what would I do if I wasn't working? Well, Joan, you are, and we don't have much time left for today, but, and we'll do it another time, but Joan, your, your active ministry is in our assisted living ministry. Yes. So just so everyone knows, we take church services mm -hmm. into assisted living centers, and currently we have over 50 of those services around mm -hmm. Southern California with almost, well, almost 850 people last week right. in worship services. You, I want to thank you because you're helping bring, you're helping those people be sustained. They didn't think they'd get to go to worship anymore, and exactly. you have brought worship to them. And it's such a pleasure. They thank us every week for coming there. Some of them don't have any visitors, and they know we're going to be there every week. Wow. Yeah. I just was in Villa Valencia yesterday, and, uh, and they were talking about the worship service that's in there. I'm mm -hmm. not sure which. Do you know what night that is? We do one on Friday night and one on Sunday morning. We oh, do two services two there. Two services there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, that is very significant to those people. And that's just one of, like I say, 50. Yeah. So thank you for that ministry. Because that verse, God says, even in your old age, and those folks mm -hmm. are older, mm -hmm. and gray hairs, I am he who will sustain you. And he does mm -hmm. for the us and for them. Thank you for being with us today, Joan. Thanks for everyone <laughs> tuning in. I hope you'll tune in again tomorrow. And remember, you matter to God and you matter to us. Have a great day. <laughs>